Well guys, if you want to undervolt your i7 10600K or really any K-series LGA 1200 CPU, this is the right video for you. So what we will achieve today is more FPS, first of all, lower temperature, dramatically lower temperature, lower power consumption, and uh, yes, even less stuttering game and less system noise. Now we will have two different profiles and uh, we'll go over different kinds of motherboards because today we have a Z490 MSI Asus ROG Strix, but you can do this with every single motherboard out there, even with lock motherboard. So this kind of allows you to bypass the overclocking protection if you have a K-series CPU, on a non-Z series motherboard, you can still overclock it. Now, little disclaimer, if you do have a crazy good cooler, like what we have here today, it's the Valkyria 360 Jarn, which I have reviewed on the channel, by the way. If you do have an overkill cooler like this one, then you may wanna just directly go for overclocking if you want the absolute maximum FPS. But to do that, you will need a Z series motherboard. However, I will have a dedicated tutorial for you guys in case you have an overkill cooler. But for all the rest of you with normal coolers and with uh, maybe a normal motherboard or one of the two, or simply if you want a quieter system, let's go straight into the BIOS and let's start tweaking. But before we go, promise me one thing. If the video will end up being helpful, you will drop a like and a sub. What I wanna do with the channel is basically cover every single CPU and GPU out there and give you a guide for everything. Now I have also started to overclock controllers and like different peripherals. So I have those videos on the channel as well. Let's go. Okay, so here we are in the BIOS. Now we will have two different profiles, okay? One, if you want mostly temperature and basically you wanna keep your temperatures as low as possible and you don't care that much about single core performance. Different thing, like not really tutorial related, is you also want your XMP to be enabled, this way the RAM can run at maximum speed, and you also want your resize bar to be enabled, but uh, even if you don't have these, it doesn't matter for the tutorial, okay? So let's go on. So you wanna go in a section of your BIOS that's called AI Tweaker or Overclocking Tweaker or something like that. The name will change depending on the motherboard. On ASUS, it's AI Tweaker, it may be Overclocking, AI tweaking, things like that. Just find this page on your BIOS where you have your XMP and like your setting for your CPU. Here are a few things you wanna do. So you wanna go all the way down until you find the CPU core ratio and you wanna set this to sync all cores. Now the 10600K, it runs at 4.8 gigahertz at stock. So what you wanna do is set it to go on 4.6. And now you might be saying, hey, but aren't we losing performance? And not really, because uh, all core, this CPU actually goes uh, for 4.1 gigahertz. 4.8 is just the boost. Now we are setting it to 4.6. However, you can also go with 4.7 if you feel lucky. But what I'm giving right now is a safe preset for every single one of you guys. So 46 is really safe, okay? After you've done that, you wanna go all the way down, okay? And you wanna go on CPU voltage, which again, will be in a different spot depending on your motherboard. In my case, it's all the way down. CPU core slash cache voltage, you wanna put this on manual mode and you wanna put 1.3 volt. This is the baseline. So this is if you wanna just copy my settings, if you wanna just copy them, just copy these and you will be plenty fine. How do you improve these settings is if you go higher in core clock, like 47 or even 48 you can get, you will get more performance. But the temperature is also gonna be a little bit higher and more importantly, you're gonna need a bit more voltage. So for example, if you wanna run 48, on most CPUs, you're gonna need 1.325 in general. And uh, you also wanna adjust your load line calibration, which is generally found in DG plus VRM, but it will vary, again, depending on your motherboard, the name, but you wanna put the middle one, which in my case, the middle from one to seven is four. So this is gonna be if I wanna run 4.7 or 4.8, but you have to test this. Whereas if you wanna just copy the settings and don't think about it, just go with 46, okay? Just go with 1.3 and you will be plenty fine. And this is one setting. Now, if you don't wanna compromise your single core performance at all, you can do it different. So let's start all over again. So you don't wanna do this, but you wanna go into CPU core cache voltage instead and put it into offset. And you wanna put it in a minus offset and go 0.05 right there. Now, the higher you go with this number, the lower your temperature is gonna be. And also it will free up a bit of power limit for you in case you have a locked motherboard. 
but again if you want to just copy it just do this and by the way if you do this you don't want to change the load line calibration so now I, I will put it back to automatic you don't want to change it if you do the offset okay most cpus can do 0.075 but i recommend 0.05 but if you're very lucky you may do 0.1 but uh, you need to be very lucky okay so just put 0.05 trust me the tutorial is pretty much over already but a few extra things uh, that you can change is if you have the asus multi-core enhancement basically if you want lower temperature you want to put this on disabled or automatic basically you don't want to have all the limits removed but on the other side if you're doing this undervolting for performance reasons you definitely want to put it on enabled removal limits speaking of which if you're doing this undervolting for performance reasons you also want to find somewhere in your bios something that's called cpu current capability and in general you want to find all the power limits that you have and you want to put these to the maximum okay because remember you're not going to break anything because we are setting fixed frequencies and fixed voltages so we just want to make sure that the cpu is free to go as high as you want so we, we want to put the current limit to the maximum and we also want to put the power limits so you go into here you find something that's called cpu cur cache current limit and you just put all nines just to max it out this one as well just max it out max it out and here we are those four things are gonna be called the same in every motherboard so this is for performance but again if you're doing it just to remove the stuttering etc you don't need to to do this this is just if you want to peak performance out of your cpu for example if you go with automatic core ratio and then you just disable or the limits and you go minus 0.05 you're gonna get the most out of your cpu even on a locked motherboard and this is it a bit of a longer undervolt than usual but uh, it's very complex i think you guys need to understand it properly for any questions drop a comment down below and remember your promise if it was helpful please drop a like and maybe a subscribe to the channel too and i will see you guys in another video uh, if you want to tweak your graphics cards as well i have a video for you too so maybe check it out bye guys